Hello everyone and welcome to this month's episode of What's for Dinner. Today I'll be making a slow cooker ranch beef pot roast that was submitted by a viewer. So let's get cooking. I love slow cooker recipes because all you have to do is throw everything into the slow cooker, crock pot, whatever you want to call it, put it on high or low for a certain amount of time, and then you have a meal. It's just so simple and so easy, and I love recipes like this. So thank you to the viewer who submitted this. They asked to not be named on camera, so I'm going to respect that. But we're going to go ahead and start this very simple recipe. To start, we need a four pound beef roast, a ranch seasoning packet, and three quarter cup of beef broth. So I'm gonna put this lid on so I can see what I'm doing. And then take the lid off. I'm gonna take this out of here. Let's do this. Bring the bowl over here. Open this up. Sprinkle it on the beef roast. And then you want to, quote, rub it in well. I don't know what that means, but we're going to attempt to do that. Just to make sure it's all coated nicely. Now you want to add a three-quarter cup of beef broth. I think this is more than that. And I don't have any use for this other than this, so I'm gonna just about probably more than three-quarter cup, but I'm just going to dump the whole thing in. I don't mind it being soupy, that's okay. All right, then I'm going to bring it over here. And we're going to put it on low for six hours. Select low. Oh, I'm sorry, that's six, that's six hours, eight hours. Sorry about that. You want it on low for eight hours. When you have two hours left on the crock pot, you're gonna add in some halved new potatoes and some cut up carrots. So in about six hours or so, we'll be back to do that. So we'll see in six hours. What am I gonna do in six hours? I don't know. A lot of things I could do. Ooh. I know. I'm gonna get a haircut. Yeah, that's much better. Anyway, so it's been about six hours. We're gonna add in four cut up and peeled carrots and about a pound and a half of halved new potatoes. So I'm gonna put the carrots in here first. This is smelling really good, by the way, and it's boiling. There's carrots. Then let's put in good potatoes. I'm gonna mix these in a little bit. The potatoes were canned because I could not find actual new potatoes that were not canned or in the produce section, so they're canned, but they seem to be working okay. So according to this, we have about two hours yet until this is done, just under two hours. So we will be back in two hours to finish up the recipe and try it on camera. All right, and two hours later, it is now time to dig into this beef pot roast. So I have a knife and a fork here. Bring this out a bit. Let's turn it on, off. Turn it off. Oh, this smells so good. It's just kind of like fall apart. Sometimes when I do these recipes, this, it just kind of like falls apart. And I'm cutting into it a little bit here. Do I want this on a plate or a bowl? I think I'm going to put this in a bowl. Get rid of this plate. Bowl. All right, I have a bowl here now. We're going to use this instead. Um, yeah, this this beef is just tearing apart very nicely. Now we're going to get a spoon here to get some carrots and potatoes. Kind of hard to see, but I think you'd be able to see it. I don't want to spill the juice, but. Looks pretty good. It looks like your standard kind of beef pot roast. All right, let's dig into this. I want beef, carrot, and potato all in one. Let's see here. Let's 
very hot. Okay, here we go. Mm. There is a hint of the ranch, but it is not very overpowering, which I kind of like. But the flavors are all there. Mmm, that's so good. Well, thank you all for watching this episode of What's for Dinner. As stated in previous episodes, I've created a Google form that allows you to submit your own recipes for future consideration on the show. A link to that form will be found in the description below. Thank you all again for watching. God bless, and I'll see you all next time. Also, thank you again to the friend of mine who submitted this recipe. They did not want to be named on camera. Thank you again. I really appreciate it and I hope you tune in again at some point. So again, take care, God bless, and I'm going to enjoy this beef stew, pot roast, whatever you want to call it. Mm.